Hey everybody, today we're going to make an awesome, awesome dish. It's cheese, cheesy chicken, manicotti with broccoli. And it's pretty healthy for you actually. Don't let the cheesy part fool you. So before I get started though, I wanted to tell you about these pots and pans that I use. I'm getting emails all the time from people saying, hey, where'd you find those cool things that you use in your videos? So I'm going to show you. As a matter of fact, I'll even drop a link in the down below the video so you can check it out for yourself see if they're for you the reason we bought these little copper pans copper bottom pans is my wife and I were spending bank on pots and pans and skillets and all that and they were just crap you know they go to crap after a, a very short period of time so my wife's like well I would much rather buy inexpensive skillets and pots and pans and throw them away and not feel bad which I agree with. So, these little buggers here though are the bomb diggity. I love them. Um, we've had them now for like four or five months. No scratches, nothing. And we got this huge set for under a hundred dollars. You can get a skillet for that, or a lot more actually. But anyway, I just thought I'd share it because if I really like something, I want to share it with you. So, um, first thing we're going to do, broccoli. We're going to take our handy dandy, oh look at that one, mmm, very fancy. We're going to do three or four cups of frozen broccoli. Oh, that, that is even worth measuring. Let's go with four. And they need to be heaping like this, a little education. They need to be heaping like that because once they get soft, then they'll really start to go in. Okay. And a pinch to grow an inch. So, with this, I'm going to add a glass of water. I'm going to put a lid on it, put it on the stove and let it get boiling hot and steamy. It doesn't have to be submerged because it's gonna cook from the steam. So, I'll be right back. Now, onto the unctuous sauce. First thing we're gonna need is one can of cream of chicken soup. So, whenever you're gonna do a bunch of liquids and you have condensed soups, put that in first. Otherwise, it's splashed central. All right, one can of soup, cream of chicken, and now two cans of chicken stock. I saw a recipe once where they use water. I'm like, water? Water? Ain't no flavor in water. I mean, it's called flavorless for a reason. So I'm going to stir that around a little bit. And then I'm going to add, let me get rid of this, a teaspoon of these dehydrated onions. Just a teaspoon, because a little bit of those go a long way. Pardon me while I pause and yell at my dog. Okay, I didn't have to yell at him. Mrs. Dick is taking care of that for me. Thank you, Mrs. Dan. So also we're going to add a teaspoon of garlic salt. It is Italian after all. And this one needs to be a heaping teaspoon. And finally, last but not least, this is Italian. A teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Bam. And that's it. Can you believe it? Ha. Ah. I'm wrong, that is not it. Okay, because you're like, you said cheesy in the beginning. You're right. I also have Velveeta. So I'm gonna add a half, half of this, it's a half a pound of Velveeta cheese. All right, and then I'm gonna put this on the stove and I'm gonna heat it up until everything's melted and it's smooth. Alrighty. 
you about Okay, that. tip of the day. Did you know that America is the only country that puts cheese in plastic like that? You know, even Velveeta comes in foil. So, if you put it flat and then wrap it in foil and put it in your fridge, it won't melt. I mean, it won't uh, mold. Tip of the day, fun facts. All right. So I will shut this in the refrigerator. Meanwhile, let's cut the cheese. <laughs> no pun intended. All right. Let's move everything we can see. And I'm just gonna do this in big old chunks because it's gonna melt anyway and get stirred up. So, I'm going to turn you off here and go to the stove. Would you look at that? Look at that broccoli just boiling away. I'm going to turn the heat off now and I'm going to drain it because you don't want to cook it to mush. That's for sure. I get my handy dandy gloves on. And I'm going to drain these bad boys. in there and you'll find out why in just a minute. All right, so these are chicken tenders. And I'm gonna do a few things to operate on these bad boys. First thing I'm gonna do is get rid of this little thing here. You know what I'm talking about? This little this little guy. Because he's tough and you don't cook down. I'm just gonna cut it out. And then I'm gonna cut them in half. I'm just gonna make room. And I'm gonna continue to trim off these little, what the hell they are, annoying, tough pieces. And cutting them in half. And then, I'll be back and show you what's next. So I got them all cut up and laid out. And here's the good news. You only have to, I'm gonna salt and pepper these, but you only have to salt and pepper one side. Well, that's weird. Why only one side, Jimmy Dick? Because I don't wanna flip them over. It's a lot of work. And plus, everything else has flavor too, so it is all good. So we're going to salt and pepper the one side. Also, you can use chicken breasts. You don't have to use tenderloins or tenders or whatever they are. Just um, white meat chicken. You can use dark meat chicken. Either way, it's fine. So my sauce is done. So let me show you this. Mmm, man, it smells really good. So I'm going to put in exactly that much. Okie doke. And it looks like I need to whisk it a little bit for smoothing, which I can do. Why? Because I got a whisk. And then the rest of it is going in there. Put a lid on that and come back over here. What's next, you ask? Next, we stuff our shells. So you just pick up a piece, shove her in there until it comes out both sides. 
Then you just lay it in your pan, however you want to do it. Bam. Super easy. And mine's still a little frozen. So I have to go through and get different pieces that'll fit. But two, if you use dark meat like a thigh and you just have a whole bunch of pieces little like this one, you just shove it in there. Like this guy here. Just shove a piece in that side and shove this piece in that side. Bam. Okie doke. I'm going to finish stuffing all these shells. Okay, I'm all stuffed up and ready to go. So now, I could pour it all on there, but I really want to make sure the broccoli gets put everywhere. So I'm just going to make sure the broccoli is distributed throughout. And then I'm going to pour the rest of the sauce on. Sorry, I was baking something. Brownies. Mmm, dessert. To go with this healthy chicken dinner. Right? Alright. I think that's probably good enough. Let's dump. Now, if you noticed, the manicotti was not cooked. Okay, one more thing. Look at this pan. It's almost clean already. We do love them, don't we, honey? Yes. Yes, we do, says the timid creature of the woods. <laughs> yes, I like them. <laughs> She's trying to show her face. <laughs> yes, it's very good, honey. Okay, good. Now, the final thing. Parmesan, oops, Parmesan cheese. We're going to sprinkle that on there. But, no, that's not enough. Are you kidding me? I got this one. Shredded Parmesan Asiago and Romano. Blend. Yum city. So we're going to sprinkle this on top. And you still may be thinking, that's not enough sauce or anything to cook the noodles. And I would say, trust Jimmy Dick not to steer you wrong. So, that was about right. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil, and as tight as I can get it. And I'm going to stick it in a 400 degree oven for one hour. And when it comes out, it will be perfection. Mm, mm, mm. See you then. Hey, by the way, if you like this, hit like. And also, please subscribe to my website. Thanks. Jimmy Dick is filmed before a live studio audience. <laughs> and we have a one, two, three. Awesome! Check this out. Look at a steaming. Mm. Let me lick my fingers. Man, look at this. Cheesy chicken manicotti cooked. To perfection. Like I promised, the pasta is done great, the chicken is done great. You just can't go wrong with this thing. I'm gonna get a little extra sauce and put on here. And some broccoli. Chopping broccoli. Alright. Here we go. Cheesy chicken manicotti. Mm mm mm. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. That goes good with margaritas. Mmm. Bam. Talk to you later. Bye.